assalamu alaikum uh, welcome to my channel code city so as you all know that uh, the flutter web is stable in the flutter 2.0 release so in today's video i'm going to tell you that how can you deploy your flutter web application on the oracle weblogic server or uh, jboss server so let's start this video so first i already created a flutter uh, application flutter default application the counter application so we deployed that counter application on the weblogic server and the jboss server so uh, first let uh, run this application on the uh, chrome browser for that just run the command flutter run minus d hyphen d and chrome and press enter so uh, this command will run your uh, the, this the counter application in the Chrome browser. So it takes a uh, couple of minutes to run that application. Okay. So waiting for connection from debug service on Chrome. Okay, so if you see that now the my application will open on the Chrome browser. so that is the uh, flutter counter application and uh, that is uh, run on my chrome browser so now i am going to tell you that uh, how can you deploy that flutter web uh, application on the server so for that first we have to build uh, that project so for that just run the command flutter build web and press enter so this command will build your uh, flutter web application uh, that co uh, this command will compile all your dart code and uh, that will be converted into the html or the javascript file this code will generate the html and javascript file of your uh, dart code or of your that application So we have to wait a couple of minutes more. So my web project is now compiled. So if I want to check this, so I have to go on my just wait a minute. Flutter project and in there I have okay. So that is my the flutter project and uh, when i run the flutter build web command so the flutter create that build folder uh, in my project so if i open that project i have another uh, folder called web so if i go to the web folder so uh, as you see that this is the whole website this is uh, the web that flutter compiles my dart code into uh, these files these files and folder so we just need to select all these files and folder and just copy these files and folder and now after that just open the NetBeans IDE and in the NetBeans IDE just create a new project and new Java web project web application so just create a web project in the NetBeans and click next and uh, just rename the project I will call that project demo web demo flutter web I guess demo flutter web and just click next next finish so this will create a web project okay so now in that project uh, just drag this project and in the web pages you have a default indexed uh, index.jsp file just delete that file and the file and folder that you have already copied from the build folder just copy all these files and folder and paste it in the web pages folder okay so this is my index.html now one more thing to do here is 
we have to change here where is the base yes this one the base href so in the base href uh, by default you have see the slash there now we have to put the project uh, the project name that we uh, when we created the web project in the netbeans so we named that project a demo flutter web so we just write that name in the href tag so demo flutter web so that's it now what we have uh, now what we are going to do now is just right click on the demo flutter web project and just click clean and build now after that the netbeans will create a var file for my web project so as you see the var file is generated on that path just copy that path and go to that part so this is my var file now we have to deploy that uh, var file on our uh, jboss server or uh, oracle weblogic server so i already started my both servers so this is my weblogic server and this is my jboss server so first we deploy that var file in the weblogic server so for that just go to the deployment uh, section and in that section just click on install button and in the install button we have to go to that path so uh, just copy that path and paste it here and press enter so this is my war file that I just created from NetBeans so just click next and install this deployment as an application next next and just click finish so now the var will be deployed on my oracle weblogic server so just wait a couple of minutes okay and now just click save button now if i go to the deployment section so this is my flutter web application that is successfully deployed on my oracle weblogic server to now to uh, check that uh, application to check the website just go to the local host and my oracle weblogic server is running on the 7001 port so after that just write the name of my var file that is demo flutter web so demo flutter web now if I press enter so this is my flutter counter application that is run on the oracle weblogic server so now we are going to deploy the same application on the jboss server so for that just go to the deployment section and in the deployment section uh, click the drop down and in that upload deployment and in the upload deployment section uh, you can either choose a file from here or you can just drag your var file uh, here so I just drag my var file and paste it there now after that just click next button and finish so my deployment is already, uh, also successful in the jboss server to view that deployment just click on the view deployment and that is my context route if you click that link so uh, my uh, jboss server is running on the 8080 port so that is the flutter counter application that is running on the jboss server so that is the, my jboss server <clears throat> and that is my weblogic server so that's it for today's video so uh, with this step you can deploy your flutter web application on the weblogic server or the jboss server if you have any other solution then you can tell us the solution on the comment section so we will meet on the next video so if you like this video then share my video and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you